machines Picking mighty machines Working for you, doing mighty things there Mighty machines Lifting and pulling and flying so high Building a building up to the sky You can watch them all day and never know why they're Mighty machines Hear them roar, watch them soar Sit right down and see There are stories to enjoy For every girl and boy Mighty machines Big and mighty machines Working for you, doing mighty things there Mighty machines Working for you, doing mighty things there Mighty machines Trucks, trucks, trucks. Look at all the different trucks on the highway. I'm Tanker, and I carry the fuel that keeps all those trucks rolling. Those two enormous tanks of mine are full of fuel. Hi, kids. Welcome to the truck stop. A truck stop is a big place close to the highway built especially for trucks. They can come in to get more fuel, wash their windows, check their engines, or pull into the parking lot to give their drivers a little rest. I have to come here every day to refill the underground fuel tanks. Those are the covers to the fuel tanks. These tanks hold diesel fuel. That's the kind trucks like. My driver, Ian, uses that long wooden stick to measure how much fuel is left down there. Then we know how much more to add. Hmm, almost empty. Looks like this is gonna take a while. Good. That'll give me a chance to tell you about some of the marvelous trucks that I see every day. Some are tankers, like me, that carry liquids like oil or water. Some haul gravel or sand. There are flatbeds, dump trucks, and lots and lots of cargo transports. Oh, there goes one of my favorites, a car transporter. How do those cars get up there, I wonder? Here come the new cars. They've had a nice long ride across the country by train. But now they have to travel on the highway. I'm Carrier, a car transport truck, kids. I carry the new cars to where they will be sold. Each of the cars is driven right up onto my trailer, up those ramps. It's sort of tricky, but my driver knows exactly where to stop. Whoa, isn't this exciting? Yeah, what happens next? We have to be chained down so we can't come loose. 
There are four big, strong chains that hold us securely on the track. Make sure it's good and tight there. I don't want to bounce around and scratch my new paint. Ooh, I'm way up in the air. What's going on? Well, this is fun. We're on an elevator. Relax, fellas. I have to raise up each of the platforms so I can fit more cars underneath you. I'm a truck, specially designed to lift up cars. I have strong muscles to do the job. See those levers? They control each platform separately. So I can tilt and slide backwards and forwards. Here comes the last one for the upper level. Then we can start loading the bottom. See the green areas on my platforms? Each wheel has to sit on one of those spots. I'll tighten up your chains. You won't budge now, Buster. to be able to fit under any bridges we come to or tunnels we go through. How many I can carry depends on the size of the cars. These ones are fairly small, but the full-sized cars take up much more room. Up, up, up you go. Slide forward. And now you. I know just how to position you cars so you don't bump into each other during the ride. Are you fully loaded yet? Just a couple more. Me too. I'll be able to take nine cars today. Okay, that's the last car. I'll see you on the highway. This is a great way to move lots of cars all at once. I only need one driver for me, instead of one for every car. Isn't that smart? Yeah, it is pretty smart. When they transport new trucks, they can only move three at once. And instead of putting them on a trailer, they just ride piggyback. I see them come in here quite a lot for fuel. There's some now. That reminds me, I'd better get busy filling up these tanks. I carry special big hoses to unload the fuel. They attach to my nozzles. The curvy connector pipe fits into the top of the underground tank. And the hose locks onto the connector. Now, my valve is opened and out pours the fuel into the tank. I have several hoses, so I can fill more than one tank at once.
there are 12 fuel bays at this truck stop. And I'm glad they have pumps on both sides. Trucks like me have tanks on both sides, and we like to fill them up at the same time. There's lots of fuel for everyone. Take as much as you need. I'm full again, my windows are clean, and I'm heading back out on the road. Need to get past here and park for a while. Me too. I've been on the road for three days. Good thing this place is so big. There must be 200 trucks in here. I guess it's lunchtime and all the drivers are looking for pie. Extraordinary bunch of trucks out on the highway. Really? What did they look like? Well, one had a big smiley face on its side. Hi, kids. Do you know what sort of truck I am? Can you guess from my happy face? My sign says, the magic bus. Now what can be magical about a truck? You'll soon see. Hi, fellas. Am I the last one here? Yeah, but we saved you a nice parking spot next to the big sign. Hi, kids. Have a closer look at my special trailer. Isn't it neat? I don't look that unusual on the highway, but you'll soon see my secret identity. Those big, thick cables are for electricity. I'll need those a little later. I've unhitched myself from my trailer. I'll park over here and explain what's going on. See how my big steel trailer walls are being lowered down? They're very heavy. Can you guess what's all of that colorful stuff on the trailer? Isn't this amazing? Now, they are lowering the other side. When both sides are lowered, it becomes a big steel platform. Ta-da! That's a piece of my safety fence. Who 
Look at that! Wow! Have you figured it out yet? It's an amusement ride! Now, they're attaching the seats for the ride. While they are finishing setting this one up, kids, go and have a look at my friend, A Thousand and One Nights. I'm not a regular truck trailer either, kids. All my parts are designed to fold up neatly into the size and shape of a trailer so that I can drive down the highway and come to where you live. Down folds my side. Here's where my riders sit, on my magic carpet, from the story of 1001 Arabian Nights. Watch me unfold my huge arm. the last bit of decoration and I'll soon be ready to go. I can't wait for the carnival to open. Hooray! The carnival has started. Look at them whirl around. Whee! Well, kids, it's hard to believe, but all of this fun fits in one big truck. I'm happy I could show you how it all goes together. to those kids scream! Glad you could watch us transform ourselves, kids! See you at the carnival! My gosh! Those are some fancy trucks. I hope they come in here someday. I'd love to hear their stories. Hi, Tanker. Am I glad to see you? I'm nearly empty. Well, pull on in. There's one spot left. I just saw a truck that looked like a huge insect. Another fantastic truck? What's going on today? Where was it? It was at the construction site at the new airport. Hi, kids. I'm here to deliver concrete to this construction site. I kind of look like a giant insect, don't I? My four big legs keep me stable while I have my long boom up in the air. Look how high it goes. Up, up, into the blue sky. My boom is pumping concrete to where the workers need it. work with my buddy, the cement mixer. Hi there, Pumpa. How's the job going? It's almost finished, but we still need a little more concrete. Okay, here it comes. I'll just pour some into your hopper tank here. I'm pumping concrete from where I am down on the ground, up through that skinny tube attached to the boom. They're making a platform for an elevated shuttle train, and a regular cement truck can't reach this high. My operator has to move my boom by remote control, using that box with the joysticks, because I can't see what's happening up there. He can move my boom up and down, side to side, and control how fast the concrete comes out. There! All done! Now, I have to bring my boom back down and go to my next job. When my boom arm is extended, even the slightest movement of the controls makes a big movement of the boom.
I bring concrete to all the awkward places, like bridges and elevated highways and tight spots where ordinary cement trucks just can't go. I can reach 10 stories high. I have to empty out the little bit of concrete left in my tube so it doesn't go hard. That would be trouble. It would clog up everything. Now, watch how I fold myself up. This is pretty amazing. All five sections of my boom have to fold up on top of one another. Look how flexible I am! It's all folded up and fits nice and flat on the bed of the truck. Now, for my great long legs and big feet. I bring my own foot pads to put down under my feet. Every job site is different, and lots of times the ground is all uneven. I can make each of my legs a different length, too, to be able to balance properly. And you know what? They're so strong, I can lift my wheels right off the ground if I need to. See? My great big legs tuck in along the sides. Very good. I'm ready to go. There's just one last little thing before I head for the highway. Let me back up first. Bath time. I can't leave without rinsing out the last of the concrete that was in the hopper. Ah, that feels better. Everything is cleaned up, and I'm on my way. Off to the next construction site. So long. I saw one of those trucks in here just last week. Of course, he didn't have his legs out. That must be something to see. Don't you love to see all the different trucks going about their work? I think there must be as many kinds of trucks as there are different jobs. All the 18-wheelers that pull in here are full of everything imaginable from computers and televisions to toys and donuts. Tanker trucks carry liquids like milk and syrup, oil and chemicals. Dump trucks, gravel trucks, garbage trucks, flatbeds for heavy equipment, Cement mixers. Car carriers. 
I could go on and on. Every time you see a truck, kids, remember, they're mighty machines doing mighty things for you and me. Mighty machines, big and mighty machines, working for you, doing mighty things there. Mighty machines, lifting and pulling and flying so high, building a building up to the sky. You can watch them all day and never know why they're mighty machines. Hear them roar, watch them soar, sit right down and see. There are stories to enjoy for every girl and boy. Mighty machines, big and mighty machines, working for you, doing mighty things there. Mighty machines, working for you, doing mighty things there. Mighty machines.